Yo E, thanks for your wisdom in this program. I'm taking the advice here at my own pace. I still have not done the reading or fasting, but I plan to do so soon. My non-job is going well. I'm becoming really strong at the gym. The lesson about natural testosterone boosting strategies has worked well for me incredibly. Uh, I am noticing improvements in every area of my life. That's great news, brother. Thank you for sharing that with me. It lets me know that I'm doing my job here. He says, here's my concern and my question, though. For my whole life, I'm 23 years old. I have had bad dating experiences for some reason. I have not been able to date the girls that I like. I only seem to get the attention of girls that would not be a good fit for me in my life. At five foot five and 120 pounds, it seems like whenever I try to flirt with a quality girl that just look at me like I'm a little brother. Any advice would be appreciated. I've not been trying to find a girl for a couple of years and I've been focusing on myself, but I think with all the positive progress I have lately, I'm feeling good to go out there and get what I want. So thank you for your question. And what I would propose, and this is not going to sound nice, but I just got to speak it like it is. You're 23, and I've said before, you're not a man until you're 24, and I stick by that, so you're still a boy. You're still a teenager at 23. 24, now you start to become a man. It's a whole new cycle in your life. You're five foot five. not sure if you're going to grow any taller, and you're 120 pounds. They act like you're their little brother because you look like their little brother and 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 women especially around your age want somebody older and bigger and so these are things that you can't do anything about except to have patience and perseverance you're you're going to be hard pressed to find a quality woman at this point but it won't be that way forever and i want to assure you of that like I said, 23-year-old 20, Elliot, I see pictures of 23-year-old Elliot and I could, just, I could see the milk in his teeth. I look at pictures of me in my 20s, I'm like, man, you still look like a boy, right? I am definitely was still a boy. Not a very tall guy, but I was definitely very muscular. If somebody would have told me, Elliot, by the time you're 33, <laughs> you're going to be beating him off with a stick. I would have been like, oh, wow, well, I guess I, I, I guess that's good news and bad news, right? It's bad news because it's like, well, women aren't paying attention to me because I'm kind of like a boy still. And you, in your case, being five foot five and 120 pounds, look, you might not be able to, to fix your height, but you'll be able to build some muscle as, as you age, right? You're like you, Men don't reach their physical peak until around 26, right? 26, 27, that's when like you're, you're at your peak physicality. So I would work on continuing to build muscle. It sounds like you're doing a great job in all of your life, dude. Sounds like you're doing amazing things all around. You 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 really are on your path. Um, I would give I would ignore women for right now, right? I don't think that they can add anything to your life right now, unless you're finding a woman is going to build with you, which is not very easy to do, right? I was lucky; she kind of fell into my lap, and I. Even, even building together with her doesn't mean building together with her. I was still on my path. I didn't build with my wife. She made babies while I built, right? So we're kind of on parallel journeys together doing, you know, doing this thing together. You can find a girl that, you know, at 23, I was having babies. We, we, we had our first child at 23. She was 22, I was 23. Right? So unless that's, unless that's the path that you're on, I would say forget about it. Forget about them. Forget about them altogether, bro, and go and build some muscle. At five foot five, you could be you could be jacked and shredded at, you know, put by putting on another 30, 40, 50 pounds even. Five foot five, you could be 165, 170 pounds of pure muscle. And that will be very attractive even at your height. You just can't be short and fat. <laughs> That's the kiss of death. I've seen guys that are tall and fat. And women are okay about it. I see guys that are short and jacked, and women are okay about it. But short and fat <laughs> ain't gonna fly so well, dude. Don't work. It ain't gonna work because women are short and fat, right? Unless they're lesbians, they ain't gonna look at you. So keep doing what you're doing. Look, if you want advice on on how to find a girl, there's all kinds of great YouTube channels that I've mentioned here about how to pick up and how to talk to girls. But I don't think any of that is necessary or important when you have your own frame. 
I think when you have a frame, women recognize, wow, this guy's got a frame. And women generally don't start looking for a man with a frame until they realize they need a frame to, to go into. Women at age 23 are still partying. They're still in a party phase. They're still children too. The problem is they're giving away all their value. And guys like you are, are you know, it could be a hard thing because you're like, you're watching these women give away all their sex and you're watching all the guys getting it and you're like, damn, I ain't getting none of that. Why are they just giving it away to all these guys? And I ain't getting none of it. And then you build your value up. And by the time, you know, you're in your late 20s and 30s and your value, your frame is well established. All these girls that was giving away their value for free to all, all the party boys right now, they're going to come looking for you. Because then they realize, oh, wait, I need a frame. I need, I need a man that's a real man that I could step into his life. And then they start paying attention to you. But that's when you, that's when you shake your head and you say, no, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in you. You gave away all your value. Why am I going to buy this dry heifer, right? This heifer. I think a heifer is a, is a cow that, uh, that can't give babies or something. <laughs> I'm learning about cattle. Why well, I want this useless heifer, right? I don't want this useless heifer. Speaking of heifers, my do- I see my dog walking around outside. Why is he walking around? Um, and, then you, and then the tables turn. The tables are going to turn for you, and then you're going to be you're going to be choosing those young, pretty things when you got your, you got your frame, you got your muscle, and you're becoming a man, dude. So I know that's not a popular answer, an answer you might want to hear, but I think you're doing a great job, and I would say just keep doing what you're doing. Stay in your path. Stay, keep doing what you're doing. If a woman comes into your, into your path, if a woman comes to your life, great. Thank your lucky stars. Thank God. Wow, the grace of God brought this woman into my life. And then you continue building. And now you have her alongside with you. Get her pregnant, right? That's my opinion, right? If you're going to build with a woman, that means babies, right? So she makes her way into your life. You make it very clear. Hey, I'm old man on my path. I wouldn't mind having a family. In fact, you know, that was me. I want to have a family. So we're going to do this family thing or not, right? That means you ain't going to be no strong, independent girl that's, uh, you know, out there being a wage slave. Well, you're going to make babies with me, right? And so you get to make that decision and you get to have that authority, when a woman finds you and steps into your frame. Now, if you go, if you go out there trying to find a woman, you're going to be like most of these guys that walk into their woman's frames. They walk into these women's frames. They step into these women's frames. Like our friend earlier who's having problems with his, with his quote-unquote fiancé. He's totally living in her frame. <laughs> so that's my opinion on that, bro. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, And then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.